Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? Today I am planning to show you that that how we deassemble this clutch system. And this clutch clutch system is is in in here that part and and next we are planning to take that full clutch away and then we also inspect that clutch clutch system and this plate this current current condition and al also there is interesting to look that that in that hole in here in that hole goes this starter starter motor and it starter motor feels and those teeth goes goes in these metallic holes but next we start to deassemble this clutch system and this clutch system belongs to this Toyota VVTi engine and this is like manual transmission gearbox this uh, system in automatic transmission we have a different system but now we are looking this manual transmission clutch okay and we continue Okay, and, and next, next we are planning to open these bolts in here. This is first one, second, and uh, third, and fourth, and fifth, and sixth. And there are six bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and these bolts, bolts we need to open, and and first, first we need, when I am planning to open that, I need socket, what size is this, uh, 15 divided 32, and in millimeters, 12 millimeter. And then there is idea that, that when we open these six bolts, there is two rules. That first, because there is compression, and spring inside in this this uh, clutch we need to open carefully one bolt by one little bit and there is a rule that we don't do so that we open that that bolt fully and we take out and then that bolt fully and then the last part is in there because there is risk that this clutch system can can hit our body and it can actually drop out and, and jump some position because there is spring inside and let's look at how this Toyota Corolla clutch handles and works and then there is uh, this opening thing that that it's good to use uh, these uh, fixed sides tools like in here because now if I use only one side friends like in this then this motor moves and it this way because there is there is no any break and that's it's good that when I use two tools at the same time and they are fixed like these bars in here and here also then it's it's more easier to open a little bit like in that box in here and then then I open a little bit that bolt in here, this upper upper part, and and then then there is this, then there is this next next one in here. Okay, and I move that in here, and then I start to keep in this position and then next one and this is okay and now and and, and then when when you have these bolts are not very thick that you can hit in this friends in your ha hand like in 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 that way, when, when here is this bolt, 
here and then when I hit in this in this way in my hand then this opens easily. And actually I think that that could I open all of these holes using this this heat strategy. Okay here is one and I hit also that one in my fist and it it moves also and then next one it is in here it is also okay then I, I rotate this little bit okay and this moves also at the same time I use my hand that I rotate this clutch wheel and now there is next okay and now it seems that all of these bolts are are open but I only I only need a little bit move that and and that's I start to use that kind of friends but I rotate a little bit that one and then next one and next one and next one in here and there is this in glove area there is also one in there okay then I open this bolt And then that one, and little by little, okay, and then in here, and here, and in here, also in here. And here, and here, and in here, and then that little bit hammering. Okay. And then, then in there. Okay, and now this glute system moves, it moves, okay, and there is, there was this first, there was this first bolt, what size was that, not very big bolt, and then next one, what is in here? Okay, and it is goes away. There is this third one. All bolts are similar. And this is fourth one. And there was this fifth. And then final one in there. Okay, and now all bolts are away. And then I think that when we take in our hand, okay, it this system opens. There's first that wheel, and and here is this clutch, and this is the clutch, and there is nicely Toyota symbol, and this means that this is original clutch, and then when we have take these parts away. We start to inspect this clutch that is this okay or is this too too worn out and too used and is there any damage? Okay and next we next we do that. Okay and here are those components and soon we continue. We look those parts through. There was this 
that part. Okay, and next we continue when we start to inspect this uh, cl clutch. And this is uh, this Toyota's clutch. And uh, normally there is, uh, when we check this clutch condition, we, we need that is, is there any, any frictions or damage in these plates. And now when I check that plate surface, this looks actually really good, almost like new one. And then, then there is rule that when you look those holes, that there should be at least uh, this uh, 0.3 millimeter, this uh, uh, this deep deepness and this this surface in here. And I have here this measurement measurement, and now I measure this thing that that I insert that pike in these holes in here and I check that how much there is this material this clutch material and maybe this my my measurement is also a little bit too too it is maybe not too accurate but let's see that, that what what this and, and when this this plate is in in here in that that way that it is in there in same same surface like in in here okay now now there is small and how much this my system gives this amount and now this give amount that only uh, this okay this is quite difficult to read but I I analyzed that how much there is this accurate what is this because it is zero point three millimeters and it is quite quite small amount but if I look this symbols right there should be yes in that in my measurement there should be 0 0.5 millimeters but now I have to say that because this this amount is and this distance is so small that I need a little bit more accurate uh, measurement tool but but I have feeling that that there is this plate when we look in like these holes in here that there is this space there is there is this 0 0.5 millimeters and in that point this clutch clutch is okay and fine and and because I can't see if there are any any fractures or holes or there is no any parts missing. I think that this this clutch bar part is fine. And then we have this next 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 part. What is this? Uh, where are those springs in here? And in in here we need to first check that how much there there is this consumption and how how much there are those holes and and is there really much this burn out happening and in now when I look these parts I think that this looks also very very good this looks almost almost like I think that may be a new one and then we check is there any of these metallic parts broken or, or some in the wrong position and in here I think that everything looks fine and in that area we we try to find again some problems like is there any holes or bad things or or is there this blue blue color because it means that that we have burned out this clutch and now when I look that there is no any blue areas and I think that this this clutch part is also fine very good and then there is this final part what is in there and it's 
it's this matter this plate and when we look that plate we we are trying to find there are now some some issues in this plate and when I I check that this looks also very very nice surface. There is no any errors. And then then important thing when there is this black black material in here, what is this used clutch material in there? This is dangerous. This dust. This is because this dust can include asbestos, asbest, and it's very dangerous to our this uh, health and this breed system. And and don't intake this this uh, dust, and it is bad to our health and our body. And that's the reason why I recommend that you 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 don't brush in here any compressed air or any any things that this this dust becomes come becomes to our air. Okay and, and carefully handle. Okay. And now I think that that we have made that uh, clutch, clutch, clutch inspection and we can continue in this the assembly project in next part. Okay, and thank you for watching.